This week's episode of The Pit is brought to you by Epic Six Productions. For all things epic, go to www.epic6p.com. Shorts, comedy sketches, podcasts, this podcast, and much, much more. That's right. Uh, thanks for your support and everything. So, episode two, let's get it. <laughs> I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. I'm one of the best singers and one of the best looking motherfuckers you've ever seen. Hold my drink, bitch. Hey, everybody, we're all gonna get laid. I'm gonna put my nutsack on the drum sack, okay? At least you're having casual sex nowadays like playing Russian roulette. And I know I've thrown my dick on the crap table many a night. You be kind, hey, motherfucker. God's watching me do number two? Oh, man, I'm a sinner and God's a pervert. So, um, this is week two of The Pit. Uh, it's great to be back. It is. I've been waiting all week for this. Yeah. Our lives are so boring and mundane that talking in front of a microphone in a house alone on a Saturday is pretty exciting to us. <laughs> it is. <laughs> been looking forward to this all week, man. Yeah, you know, so far since last week, we got some pretty good responses. Thank you to all the people who have tuned in and checked it out. Um, you know, we're going to keep building on this and... See where it goes. Um, this week, I want to talk about a couple of things. The first being, I saw one of the most horrific, barbaric, savage, disgusting, vile things I've ever seen in my life this week. Was it a car accident? No, no, it wasn't a car accident. It wasn't a violent crime. Nope, did not involve gangbang with midgets. Nothing. So it <laughs> was involving simply a man. Uh huh. Coffee. Oh, sounds normal. And a bathroom. Oh, that's what? Okay, so we're at our uh, nine to five job. Uh, let's call it, I don't know, death row. So we were working at death row. Not I to mean, be uh, confused with Chuck Knight. But. N- no, no, yeah, no, this has nothing to do with Corrupt or Daz or Snoop or any other formerly affiliated artist. <laughs> but no, death row, let's just call it for that. Yeah. So we don't get fired. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, I'm working and, you know, I'm going to the bathroom. I walk in and I leave the urinal and I go to wash my hands, which most sane people do. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, While I'm washing my hands, a uh, older gentleman, portly man, man mm-hmm. of larger carriage, walks in to the bathroom holding a coffee mug. Now... This wasn't an empty coffee mug. This was a regular standard coffee mug with fluid in it. Coffee, I'm assuming. <laughs> he walks in jolly and happy as can be. He puts goes, it down on the counter, right? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> he walks into the bathroom stall. He sits down, and there's no tables in these bathroom stalls. There's nothing. Not that that would make it any better. Right. But with his uncovered coffee mug, sits down on the toilet and begins to take a growler oh no yeah grunts and you hear the you know like he's firing an m16 out of his asshole on the toilet all along i'm assuming he's sipping his coffee so this son of a bitch basically just had coffee with creamer sugar and eight billion shit particles i don't know how people live with themselves like i he should just kill himself kill yourself son kill yourself I don't know what would possess someone to do that. Like, I need coffee in the morning. I do. I, I can't start my day without it. Yeah, yeah. I was glad I was able to get you that for you uh, Friday. Yeah, no, that was very sweet of you. Well, you know, sorry. Bringing that latte in, that was, yeah. that was sweet. You know. But I don't need coffee that bad. Like, I would never, ever, I can't eat while taking a shit. No. I can't drink while taking a shit. No. I don't want to do anything while taking a shit except for take a shit. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds horrible. Like, that's really. Yeah, I mean, really. Oh, that's <laughs> what does that? Like, has he not seen MythBusters? Has he just like that's? <sighs> well, I almost oh, want no. to stay in the bathroom just to say something to him, <laughs> but then I was just like, well, I don't want to talk to this guy. I don't want to know this guy. So I got the hell out of Dodge well, yeah. and just sat there in shock for about an hour and a half. <laughs> Just letting it all sink in that this really happened. Like, I probably would have been less traumatized had I seen someone's head be decapitated. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. It's horrible. But that? 
that's uh, I mean, what's yeah. the most vile experience you've ever witnessed in the bathroom? What's the most fucked up thing you've ever seen? <laughs> um I think all right, so not not it's not that vile, but uh man, nothing like that. I think the worst thing is uh like I, I work with somebody and uh a, a man of a uh, larger carriage also and the, the, you know it's him just from the breathing. Like you know it's him. There's no there's no getting it, you know, mixed up with somebody else, right? So I'm in there. I'm doing my thing, you know, as I do. And uh, in the handicap stall, handicap, yeah, I'm a big dude, handicap stall all day, man. It's the only you know, way to go. Big stall pimping. I'm, I don't, I get claustrophobic in a little small one, so I don't, I don't do that. And uh, so, in walks the guy, I know by the breathing, I'm like, oh, this dude. And uh, he proceeds to sit down, and I know it's him because you know, drops trouser, and I see the badge, and I'm like, oh, yep, confirmed. And dude, it was the worst shit I have ever heard in my life like it, it was mixed with the heavy breathing so it sounded like it was like an olympic event and then like it sounded like his asshole exploded from whatever he ate from like a month ago like maybe he had just got out of like a pow camp and he was not allowed <laughs> to shit because maybe he was holding a watch for somebody's son i don't know but oh my god dude <laughs> it, it was the worst shit Ever and then the bad part is like okay, I'm like I'm trying not to laugh because I know it's him. So I leave out, wash my uh, wash my hands. I leave out and I'm at my desk and uh, walks by, and I'm like, <laughs> and I can't say nothing right. And then the conversation starts between uh, he and I, and I'm like the whole time I'm like you nasty fuck. <laughs> You well, I mean, shit a source. That like, should be your standard reaction from now till the end of time when you see this son of a bitch. <laughs> Wait, oh. please tell me this. Did he at least courtesy flush? No. 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 People at death row don't fucking courtesy flush. And it annoys the hell out of me. You know, I noticed that in more places than not. Like, I don't like taking shits in public bathrooms for multiple reasons. A, because it's the toilets are horrible. Yeah. B, People don't courtesy flush. No. They don't. And drop one, flush one. Seriously. You know, in fact, you hear that door open. Flush. Flush. Just out of respect saying, hey, guess what? I'm in this bathroom too. So, you know. Yeah. That's, I apologize for anything that's coming out of my asshole currently. But, you know, and, and it's just a respect thing. It's like when you shake someone's hand, you look them in the eye. Right. Same type of thing. You walk into the bathroom. You're in a stall. You take you flush where you're taking a shit. It's just courtesy. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't get how people don't courtesy flush. Because, you know, if they don't do it in public, you know they don't do it at home. No. So I feel sorry for their like, wives or husbands because I know it's probably some stanky chicks out there, too. But, dude, like, I don't get it. I don't, like, I know for me, I don't want to sit in my own shit. Like, I, the smell is, I sometimes I can run myself about a room, you know. I take a shit, flush, take a flush. It's not that hard. I mean, it's not like you got to reach, like, 800 feet away or... I don't, I don't get it. It's, it's just common courtesy. And, well, uh, it is. I mean, you would just think that it's like, okay, like, it's like walking into a gas chamber. <laughs> you know, when you're in a gas chamber, you want those fumes just to be out of there as right. quick as possible. So you wouldn't just say, guess what? What do I want to do? I want to sit in this chamber of gas for an, an hour. No, you're like, goddamn, I got to get rid of the smell before I die. <laughs> it's the same thing where you're taking a shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. it should be. I wish they would allow... Uh, aerosol in the bathroom so you at least spray like you know flush and maybe a little real quick you know something I'd, I'd rather smell uh that funky scent of vanilla or fresh linen than somebody's ass i'd rather smell 50 dead bodies <laughs> soaked in formaldehyde than that smell it's just horrible yeah yeah i don't know like i i just don't I don't like public bathrooms not only because of that because they're all the most businesses especially like the death row are the cheapest places on earth. Like, and one thing I noticed that they have is, and all businesses seem to have because they're penny pinchers is single ply toilet paper. We did. We, we used to have single ply at death row, but they have, they've improved. It's double, but it's the cheapest double. Yeah. Because seriously, if you, if you use single ply uh, toilet paper, you might as well be wiping your ass with 40 grit sandpaper. <laughs> 
<laughs> it might as well say yeah. Black and Decker on it and just... Because you're basically sanding your asshole at that point. It's, yeah, just get the brown uh, the brown paper towels from uh, where you dry your hands. So I'm pretty sure it was a torture tactic in Nam. Like, Charlie would come out with a, <laughs> a roll of single ply toilet paper and say, wipe for 30 minutes. <laughs> you give us your secret or you wipe with this. <laughs> <laughs> horrible yeah it's horrible <laughs> yeah i, I don't know like, i'll ah. tell you what dude i have a lot of great ideas but the last thing i want while i'm taking a shit is a breakthrough no don't want that oh you mean the the knuckle touch on your <laughs> yeah you don't No, it's never a good thing no no yeah. no double ply and then wrap that you know you gotta double that shit up like i pull out paper i pull out the paper dude it's at least like I don't know, like two, three feet, damn near. Sometimes and then I gotta roll it, roll it, roll it, double ply. It. I make double ply like quad or six ply by the time I'm ready to wipe my ass. Oh, it's safety first. Well, yeah, yeah. Safety in numbers. The more ply, the better. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like people are just savages. Like and some people don't care. Some people are just like whatever. I'm just convinced that people don't even wipe. But <laughs> well, they don't wash their hands. So I'm assuming well. They don't wash their hands. They they couldn't have wiped because who wants to walk around with a handful of shit fragrance? <laughs> you day. Ugh. Yeah, it's vile. Yeah, shit's it's horrible. Yeah, another thing I hate about public restrooms is uh, urinals. Okay. Okay, so like you walk in. Let's say, I don't know, you walk into a place, pretty standard bathrooms, like three, four urinals. Right. Two stalls. Right. You walk in, you're the only one. Gotcha. You go to whichever one, one of the farthest ones on each side. You, you know, start taking a piss. Then someone walks in. Now, you walk in. Where do you go? Uh, Normally, I either get, like, middle or I go far end, like, by a wall. Hmm. You know. See, I'm the same way. Or I walk into a stall with a door because I want as much of a barrier as possible. <laughs> but, no, it seems to me people don't understand the rules of engagement at these urinals. Right. Violations I see all the time. One, open spaces, the guy walks right next to you, starts taking a piss next to you. Two, while he's doing, you know, taking, taking his piss, piss yeah. he looks over at you, makes eye contact. There's no need for that. No, like taking pisses and threesomes are two times when eye contact never should be made. Well, all right, I'll go with that. Sorry. I don't know where you're going to go with that. <laughs> I'm just walking away. I'm walking yeah, away. Yeah, that's, that's, that's another show, safe. probably. Yeah, I'm yeah, walking that away. That probably is. That, <laughs> we got to delve into the psychology with Jason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're those, you never need to make eye contact. Rule right. no. well, number three. While both penises are out, there is no reason to talk ever. You do not look at each other and you do not speak to each other. No. Nah. While you're washing your hands and ra- while you're in wrap up mode, right? Fine, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. That's cool. You can say, "Hey, how's it going? How you doing?" Yeah, and that's it. The absolute biggest violation: physical contact. I'm, no, no, I've never had physical contact, sir. <laughs> no, I, I no, have, I'm lying. I'm lying. I got a story for you back in. Yeah, I got a story. Okay, I would like to hear the story. All right, when well, grammar school, we were assholes as kids, like. Like, I remember this one kid, Lance was taking a piss, and <laughs> it was probably the worst thing I ever could have done. I just grabbed the dude by his fucking shoulders and pulled him far as shit away from the, <laughs> the urinal as possible. I don't know if he pissed himself. I don't know if he was able to grab, uh, you know, stop the stream or not, but uh, yeah, yeah, it was horrible. So I guess that would be my, my physical contact. Well, I mean, that. did he get pissed on you? Cause no, I, no, 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 no. He didn't turn around. He was just like, oh, shit, you son of a bitch. And like, ran back up to the urinal. That poor as fast son of a possible. bitch. That's... <laughs> Yeah. He's probably traumatized, like for life. Like seriously, I bet you to this day he does not go to urinal because <laughs> of your ass. He was kind of a dick. You're an asshole. <laughs> that, that is an asshole move. Even as a child, I understood the no contact rule. <laughs> like you're at a game, you don't high five. You like don't pat anyone on the back. There's no fist bumps. There's none of that bullshit. It's it's a bathroom. It's a bath- Stick to bathroom. Bathrooms. You walk in, do what the hell you need to do, and get the hell out. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, this guy still has Ebola. No, no, no. I was just choking on my own spit. I was uh, in water. It's my own spit. It's nobody else's. All right. (coughs) Jesus Christ. Sorry. The Ebola's gone. It was just a choke. All right. I mean. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
But no, I don't know. Like seeing that coffee mug incident this week, it just it really just messed me up. Yeah, that would that would fuck me up for a while. Too. Yeah, no, it, yeah. it almost ruined. It not only ruined my day, it ruined my week. Yeah, I do have a story for you though. All right. When I used to uh, work cable, uh, worked at uh, mom Schmast, and um, we had our uh, annual little uh, poker night company dinner thing. And so we're at the Double Tree, I think, this year. Yeah, we're at the Double Tree. And um, I used to work with this cat, Dave. Old school cat, black dude from uh, originally from St. Louis. He was the type of dude who really didn't hold back what he was saying, like like what he felt or whatever. Just no filter. Not too much of a filter. He's like he was at that point. I'm at the age. Fuck it. I can say what I want to say because I'm a grown ass man. And if you don't like it, well, fuck you. So anyway, so I can respect that. Yeah. So we're in the restroom, right? And uh, we're not breaking any rules of uh, engagement. You know, we're at the wrap up session, so we're at the wrap up of the piss. So dicks are away. We're uh, going to the sink to wash our hands. And this is probably a uh, three to four urinal and two stall bathroom. All right. This guy walks, little white dude walks out of the stall, makes eye contact with both of us, kind of gives us the, uh, the nod, the what's up, and just walked out the door. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Out the, out the stall, past two guys, eye contact, what's up, out the door. Okay, so why when he did this? So okay, I'm gonna tell you. So Dave looks at me and goes, "Uh, what, what, what the fuck?" And I was like, "Dude, I don't know. I don't even know the dude. Like, he doesn't work with us. He came with somebody, with some some chick's date or some dude's brother. I don't know. But yeah, so he does that. So Dave, <laughs> once again, being the dude who doesn't really hold back, we go. He's like, "Fuck this, man. I gotta warn people." So we go out the door, and we see the dude walking. Dave, in his loudest, most country voice, goes, Hey, yo, don't nobody shake his hand. Yeah, dude right there with the black pants and the red shirt and them ugly-ass shoes, don't nobody shake his hand. This son of bitch just walked out the bathroom and didn't wash his hands. Mr. fucking Dookie Hands over here didn't wash his hands. This is at the company dinner. <laughs> like, I'm like, uh, maybe a little bit more tact, sir, but it was funny as all hell. Needless to say... I don't think anybody shook this dude's hands except for later because he did get into a fight with somebody. So shitty hands got into a fight with somebody because uh, he disrespected this dude's chick or something like that. And, you know, she works at the uh, call center out in Stockton and she was with her dude and shitty hands said something to her that was out of pocket or tried to touch her or something. I don't know. But there there was a fight that ensued later on that evening. (laughs) So... Somebody might have got hit in the face by shitty hands. Well, two things with that story. A, Dave seems like he has life pretty much figured out because <laughs> I would have done the exact thing, same thing. <laughs> Except for I may have taken this picture too and posted it all over the internet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, really, let everyone know that this fucker is a barbarian. <laughs> Straight gross, dude. <laughs> and two, the poor son of a bitch who gets slapped in the face by... Shit hands. That's just like <laughs> that's this that's the ultimate freaking double whammy. It's just Yeah. That's your day is ruined. You get shit on your face. <laughs> it's, it's all Even if it's just shit particles, I mean Yeah, yeah, it's bad your enough. Night, your know. night's your night's over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean he did win the fight. Shitty hands was, was dragged out of there. But still, he he, he got hit in the face by shitty hands. So but, I don't know, but either way, he may have technically won the fight, but <laughs> I don't know. Like that's just that's. I don't know if the guy got pink eye. Too much damage. That, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a shitty way to get pink eye. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm thinking that's probably one of my more horrible uh, bathroom stories. Yeah, Mr. Shitty Hands. Mr. Shitty Hands. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like I said, people are the worst. I don't understand people. I don't know how they get through life. I don't know if they just didn't have parents, or they grew up in a jungle or <laughs> whatever. I was at Mowgli. Yeah. They, they, they don't trust just uh, indoor plumbing. Yeah. I, I have no idea, but there's no excuse for it. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Wash your hands. Fucking don't talk to me. Oh, you know what I hate? I don't, I'm not a big fan of the, like you go to a bathroom, like where did I go recently? Uh, a little sushi spot. And uh, the, the urinal and the commode, but no separation. I'm not a fan of that. Like, yeah, you can lock the door, so it's only you in there. But 
Some places they don't have that. Like uh, the bar Donabies. No, like well, there's two urinals. Usually, when they and have there's that, like a cove in the toilet, but then there's like the commode and a urinal in the same area, and then there's a wall, and then there's two urinals. But like, dude, I seriously, like, what if I got the bubble guts and I got to take a shit, and then some fucking Jimmy walks in and he's got to take a piss? Well, I think those are actually intended for one person. Usually, I don't know why it wouldn't have a lock on the door. There's no lock on the door. Well, not at the bar. At the at the the sushi spot, there's a lock on the door. So yeah, you're fine. You're one person in. That's it. Privacy all day. Well, the bar, they're probably just thinking, oh, everyone who comes in here is a drunk motherfucker anyway, so yeah, they I don't guess. care. You can you could take a shit on the floor and everyone, put, oh, whatever, I'm drunk. You yeah, know? yeah, you're right. What I don't understand is when you walk into a place and they have the bathrooms marked, you know, male, you know, female or man, right. woman or, you know, pictures and shit. Yeah. But you walk in and there's a toilet only. There's no urinal. So they're both the fucking exact same. Why are they even labeled? And they have locks on the door. So basically, like, there could be a line of people waiting to take a freaking uh, shit right. or piss or whatever at one and no one the other one because it's gender specific. It doesn't make any sense. If they have locks on the door, there's no need for. That's true. That's true. The uh, fun ones are uh, like at uh, PUX sometimes. Um, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that's a fun time because there's like a horde of drunk chicks and drunk dudes or whatever. Now, no dudes ever go into the female restroom, right? Never. I don't ever see that shit, really. I've done it. Yeah. I mean, in a pinch, you got to go. But normally, not so much. p they still don't. But the chicks will take over the dudes' restrooms. I have went in, and like, there's two <laughs> dudes in the fucking urinals, and they're breaking the rules because one well, they're drunk, and they're just like, what the fuck, dude? There's a gang of chicks in here. And they're, the chicks have taken over the stall. You know, they're they're in the fucking toilet, and there's, like, six, seven of them. And they're, like, one girl's manning the door while there's, like, two chicks. One, you know, probably one's taking a piss, and she's waiting to turn. And, you know, the other girl to leave, and the other one piss. I don't know how they work it out. Or they're doing coke off the back of the toilet. They could be doing that. But, yeah, it, it's always, yeah. If you, if you ever get a chance and you don't mind, you know, the the drunken hordes, Pinwax is kind of fun on, the you know, the old Irish night. So, I don't know. It, it, it's just always crazy to me. Like, you see, like, seven chicks are... And even just sometimes, like, if there's no line, I've just seen chicks go into the good, the guy's restroom <laughs> just to use the fucking toilet. Like, I don't know. Every time I think about a female in a men's restroom, I think about that scene in uh, Step Brothers, that stay golden pony boy. <laughs> one foot on the wall, just pissing into the urinal. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, P. Wexford's a local bar pub that we have here in Modesto. Like we described last week, the taint of California. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a good spot though. It's fairly loud because of some of the live music, but it's a really good spot. Food is great, beers are awesome. I'd say go. <laughs> Speaking of St. Patty's Day, you know what's funny? I've actually never been out on St. Patty's Day. What? I, well, you're not a beer person, so I mean I am. I I'm a It's a lot of green I, beer flowing in. I'm more too. of a just a hard liquor person. Like I'd rather just, you know, any kind of liquor, alcohol, whatever, just you know, whatever's gonna get me. Jack the quickest. Yeah. Well, Jameson's whiskey is always. I, I'm a fan. Them. I'm a fan of Jameson's. Well, yeah. They got but it on know, tap. I, I just never went. Uh, I don't know. We should. We should do some this year. I, shit, I'm always down, man. You know me. Yeah. Well, you'll have yeah. liquor. We'll travel. <laughs> <laughs> Jason treats every day of the week like St. Patty's Day, <laughs> which is nothing wrong well, with. Yeah, yeah. I gotta work. <laughs> That's right. He's a functional alcoholic. <laughs> I am not. Alcoholics go to meetings. <laughs> I just go to work. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't know. What, where do you usually go? What 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 do you do on St. Patty's Day usually? What's just besides just going out and drinking? What other festivities do you do? Like what else is there? Wait, you're not Irish. Is there is there something else to do other than? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we, we usually you know I catch up with friends, hit uh, PUX because it's a good Irish bar. It's probably the only Irish bar, and. Um, I get in some uh, corned beef and, and hash, or uh, corned beef and cabbage, I'm sorry. And uh, hash? Yeah, yeah, you can have a hash, too, but usually it's corned Wait, you're talking about the food, right? Yeah, 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 food. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, no, not the peyote. I was <laughs> like, damn, they get down like that on St. Patty's Day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get down with the uh, corned beef and the uh, wedge of cabbage, and uh, just tell the beer maid, like, hey, just, just keep the beer flowing. Just keep it going, you know. Actually, doesn't sound bad. No, when no, the hell I mean, is St. March? March. Yeah, I oh, dude, I look forward to that because 
fucking McDonald's and the Shamrock Shake is the most beautiful thing on the planet, sir. I look forward to March. Isn't that just like basically a mint chip? Ye- no chip. No just shake. mint. Mint. But it's the fucking delicious. But can't you just go to fucking Jack in the Box any day of the year and get that? No. No. Do they have a Jack in the Box? Uh, yeah. Probably around St. Patrick's Day. Well, Baskin Robbins, you can get it made every day if you want. Yeah. That's too much effort. You can't go through a drive-thru at Baskin Robbins. That's right. I got to get out the car, walk and all that. I mean, now that my window is broken, I pretty much do that anyway. But, you know. Whatever. Yeah, my window on my Cadillac doesn't go down on the driver's side, so I either have to open the door and or get out the car and all that shit, so you would think I would lose some weight, but no. My mother didn't raise a quitter. Fuck it, I'll just open the door, get my food at the drive-thru. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's... No. But no, Shamrock Shake, dude. It's all that... Yeah, life is all about the Shamrock Shake in March. So... I'm all about that shit. This St. Patrick's Day, we're going to get Shamrock Shakes. Yeah. Corned beef cabbage. Yes. And... Get shit faced. Yeah, that's the plan. So we should probably make sure we have the day off the next day. Or just show up to work drunk. It is death row. They probably won't mind. They won't mind. They won't know. They won't tell. I mean, I, for a living, I literally just answer phones. I sit there and I just talk on the phone all day and get yelled at <laughs> for no goddamn reason. So yeah, you can I can do that drunk. Swing. I can do that sober. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. I, I can't. I probably can't swing that because for a living I drive. So they would probably not want me intoxicated. I've seen you drive video. drunk plenty of times. Not that we advise that. No, no, no. We don't no. support that. I don't drive behavior. drunk. I may have accidentally driven driven tired. I've done that. I don't. I don't know none of the drunk driving because that's that's. Well, you're off. tired because you're drunk. No, I'm tired because I just had a shitty sleep night. Like, and it's not because of alcohol. Just or like I could get the the right mix. Of having the window down and like the air on, or vice versa, like it's hot outside and I got the air on. But I like to hear the sound of the road around me, so I always have my windows down. And I get that, and I, dude, I can just fucking <laughs> zone out, dude. And it's horrible because I almost crashed one time. That was not good. It was, was that one in Vegas? Okay, I almost crashed twice. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas, I was just sleep deprived. And good thing Vanche was in the car because we'd have been fucking wrapped around a fucking pole. Or yeah, a we tree, have a, a friend Vanche, and actually our crew is composed of. It's usually you know there's five to six of us that we kind of roll everywhere together, and yeah, we're the United there. Nations of uh, fucking Modesto, right? We are because we got me, the mainly white guy. We got Jason, our resident black token. Yeah, this token over there. Then we got uh, Binky, who's our little Filipino friend. Right. And uh, Nick, the Mexican. General Ortega. Vanche, our Cambodian. Yeah. Also could be our hero, but we'll t- digress on that in the yeah. further episode. Yeah, you'll learn more about the crew later, guys. And then, uh, yeah, and then there's, there's one. So yeah. we got two Mexicans, a uh, white guy, Filipino, black guy, and a uh, Cambodian. Yeah. That's right. We are the melting pot. Goddamn right we are. But yeah, I don't know. You know what? Besides St. Patrick Day, what's this? What the hell is Fat Tuesday? I know it's like, isn't it this Tuesday? Is it already? I think so. I keep seeing like flyers everywhere about Fat Tuesday coming up, or this Tuesday, or next Tuesday, or something. But I know it's in February. I what may the hell is be it? wrong, and uh, it wouldn't be the first time in my life that uh, I've been proven wrong. But I do believe um, it's before. Ah, oh, shit. It's wrapped around religion and the whole, like, the reason for Mardi Gras and all that. Like, you're supposed to go and... <sighs> shit, I, I really want to look this up. Like, uh, we should we should hit up, hit up the, the Google box and see what that's all about, really, before I just start throwing out lame-ass information. Well, if it's religious, I think that's funny if it's time with Mardi Gras because it's like, thou shalt... Yeah. <laughs> thou yeah. shalt show thy titties one <laughs> for the beads. <laughs> when one throws beads at you. <laughs> but no, I I think it's before Lent or something whatever that's all about like I don't know. Let's let's hit the Google box and actually see what the fuck uh fuck Tuesdays is. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I I I'm assuming it's a party like St. Patrick's Day from what I'm seeing. That's another thing I've never been to. I've never done a Fat Tuesday. Yeah, we should do that because there's there's beads and there's titties. Oh, okay, I see what it is. It's basically referring to the practice of the last night of eating richer fatty foods before the ritual of fasting for Lent. Got it. All right. Yeah. So you basically party and you get all the get crazy all your, shit out of your system, and then 
Yeah. Then live a boring mundane life for the next however long. Yeah. I don't I don't fast. I might yeah. eat fast. <laughs> every, every, I might get to a place where there is food fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for you it's not fat Tuesday, it's fat every day. <laughs> It's fat year. That's just what it is. It's <laughs> fat life. <laughs> Fuck it. I should get a shirt that says that fat life. I should. I've kind of just given up. Like, uh, I'm just going to be fat. Even though I shouldn't because, you know, I, I do, was, I would like to be able to walk and breathe at the same time. Currently, I have to choose one or the other. So, I'm Or, sorry. I mean, you can just get an oxygen tank. Yeah, that's true. But then I'd have to, I feel like I'd have to take up smoking because usually most people who, most people who have the oxygen tank, they smoke. <laughs> just in case you want to start a jihad or what? <laughs> no, no, no. I just want, I want to fit in. <laughs> I want to fit in. So like when I have my oxygen tank, I take the mask off, take a couple of drags on my square. <sighs> and I put the oxygen mask back on. It's, it's kind of like the popular thing to do once you get a tank. So in order to get a tank, you'd have to start smoking. Yeah, yeah. It'd be expensive. That's too expensive. Yeah, shit. I should just lose weight. Yeah, you should. I know I should. I'm fucking fat. Well, what stops you? Why don't you? Uh, I'm a lazy fucker. I uh, actually, the gym sent the uh, fucking in shape. They uh, sent me a uh, called me or something. It was like, hey, uh, we just want to make sure that we can keep your card on file because your membership is almost up. Blah blah blah. I signed up for the thing, you know. And I'm like, I call them and I'm like. Uh yeah, I just got this call and the girls on the phone like yeah, what can we do to help? And I'm like, she's all cheery and shit, and I'm like, yeah, yeah you can just cancel it. And she's like, why? I was like, yeah, I'm lazy. She's like, but wait, what can we do? Like, can we? Is there anything we could do to get you in? Blah blah blah. I was like, no, probably not. Probably not. And I could just <laughs> tell her like, I was crushing her fucking soul on the other side. Uh, of the other phone. than having a buffet and alcohol waiting for you. Right, right, right. Like, and I mean, the gym is cool. I mean, there's Chicks and crickets. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's the whole getting healthy and not being fat. I guess, which is a good thing. But um, is it just the effort that that takes? You're just not willing to put forth. I'm a lazy fuck, and I, I, yeah, and I, it fucking sucks. So it's a horrible life to live being this lazy. But uh, I don't know. I think like if I had a uh, like okay. I, I had the uh, the trainer. I did that for a while, and that was cool because like I had the personal one on one training, and it was like working it out, and I felt good. And, like I cursed the dude out every time he made me do some bullshit exercise that hurt like a motherfucker, but I did it. I fought through it. I ain't punk out. And then the sessions that I paid for were up, and that was like a fucking grip. So I'm paying on top of the gym membership another fucking. I don't know, $8 billion on top of the $4 billion I'm already paying for the gym membership, and then it's up. And I'm like, well, there goes that. <laughs> so basically, it's an economic thing. No, it's more of a motivation. It, well, it's an economic and motivation. Well, thing. how about being able to see your feet? Shouldn't that be motivation enough? I could see them when I sit down and kick them out, or like when I walk. Because seriously, seeing your feet and seeing your dick should be two things that motivate you to get in shape. Well, I am black with you know, the stomach only hangs so far, dude. <laughs> it's out there. Yeah, I mean, uh, unless you have like an eight foot cock to get, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not imagining yeah, you seeing like it in a, a while. It's like a kickstand. <laughs> <laughs> you lean forward with your arms out. That's right. That's right. That's how I do my uh, any are you okay from fucking Michael Jackson's Moonwalk. I just slap my cock out of the underground. Like, well, know. if anyone out there is a personal trainer or anything and would like to donate their services to <laughs> save Jason's life. <laughs> You can go ahead and contact us at epic6p at gmail dot com. Yeah, let's help the fatty not be so 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 fatty. Let's help J. Let's help Jason live to forty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've beat all the other odds. I'm a young black male with a single mother in the inner city, and I made it past uh, you know twenty one. So that was great. And I'm here at thirty three in the uh, taint of uh, California, Modesto, yeah. where it's a lot less violent, but still some violence going on because you know. But it's all right. The other the other black killer will get you heart disease. Fuck. <laughs> Damn pig. If it's a bullet get doesn't get you, <laughs> <laughs> your heart will. <laughs> Damn. White man just got it out for me either way. huh? <laughs> FBI conspiracy to kill Jason. <laughs> God damn, what if they have drive throughs everywhere? <laughs> we missed him with the bullet. He didn't get involved with gangs. Somebody get some pork. <laughs> we won't knife him. We'll get him with trans fats. <laughs> 
You know, bacon doesn't have any trans fats. But it has cholesterol. But it doesn't have No, bacon's amazing. I would never hate on bacon. Bacon is epic. Actually, everything that's bad for you is essentially amazing. It's the best shit ever. Like, yeah, if I if I seriously could, I could just live off of fast food and yeah, but I I respect your grind with your, that you're on right now, dude. You're uh, you're losing weight and uh, getting in shape and all that shit. You know, I mean, honestly, I think the the <laughs> all right. So this is I don't know if it's superficial or just uh, just some shit or whatever. But I think my biggest motivation to lose weight would just be to like marathon fuck like would be great. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. I get winded now. I'm like, I'm thinking out of shape. <laughs> you're like five minutes in, you're all, wait, wait, time out. Time out. Time out. Water break. Jason has used his first time out. It's two remaining. Go over there, get water, get Gatorade, yeah, drop yeah. a game plan with the coach, then go back in. You're doing good, son. Give me a good game on the ass and send me back in. <laughs> Seriously, he needs, he needs a, a coach and a ref every time he has sex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that that would be. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, like when I was younger, I was fucking champ. Now I'm like almost like a retired fucking <laughs> pro on the field. I'm just, I'm just the dude who comes out every once in a while to present the fucking flag or <laughs> present the coin toss, and they're like, "Yeah, we remember you, but uh, get off the field. Let the young guys play." <laughs> he's he's that pro that's, that's hanging on like three years too long, just fucking blown out triceps. <laughs> yeah, he just I'm just gonna. Walk on the field and give it that, try to leave it all on the field today. <laughs> and after like two minutes, he's like, ah, oh, that's all I had to give. That's right. That's right. Well, not two minutes. Come on, give me some credit. Like three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> but yeah, I think that, that's one benefit. Living. Living, yeah. Yeah, but really marathon fucking is more of my motivation. <laughs> like, I want to do some shit that porn stars do. I see some, some tremendous action going on in the movies, and I'm like, I would like to do that. But my stomach's in the way. <laughs> 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 that's the that's the worst thing I've ever heard. Like seriously, like well, I mean, if you lost, All right, I'm three thirty six right now. If you lost a hundred and thirty six pounds, yeah, you'd be about two hundred. Yeah, it'd probably help you in that. It, it would help a lot. I yeah. mean, but knowing you, you would probably just say, huh, you lose about twenty, and you'd be like, well. I guess if I had an oxygen tank and a Viagra, that'd be the same as for marathon fucking, so why not? You could just hook, hook an O2 machine up next to your bed. That's true. Just get the oxygen in the blood, <laughs> keep the heart pumping. <laughs> just hold on a second, baby, hold on a second. <laughs> Strap on the mask, uh, undo the knob a little bit, let the air get flowing. Start breathing like Darth Vader. <sighs> <sighs> it's either like Darth Vader or Jason Voorhees, either one. <laughs> either way. It'd be enough to. Oh, dude, we gonna. I can call Clarence and get his uh, sleep pad machine. You probably need one of those anyway. You fucking <laughs> snore like a bear. Seriously, like we were roommates at one time, right? And we would be, I don't know, a good couple hundred feet away from his room with the door closed, and this is what we hear. <laughs> it sounded like a fucking chupacabra attacking a fucking Chewbacca in his room. It was horrible. I was just like, is he dying? Is there a bear in the house? I don't know what's going on. And I was just like, if we hear that noise, stop. We have to run in with the paddles. <laughs> you always got to keep the defibrillator ready. <laughs> Seriously, you probably do need a CPAP. No, I tried that shit, dude. I tried to do a fucking uh, sleep study shit. And they're like, yeah, just sleep normally. And they fucking hook this octopus of wires up to you. And they you know, tell you to sleep on your back. And I'm like... Yeah, you're failing on the sleeping normally part because I don't sleep like this because I can't sleep on my back. I sleep on my stomach. It's I've seen you sleep every way possible. Well, like, okay, here's the thing about Jason. <laughs> it could be noon. It could be, you know, freezing cold, extremely hot. We come inside. We sit on the couch. We turn the movie. Within five to ten minutes. Nah, like 15, 20. He is out cold. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, you would have thought someone took a bat to his head. <laughs> the only reason we know these alive is because you know we hear the bear <laughs> and so we have to constantly like throw something at him or hit him because we're like god damn it no 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 fuck that you guys don't ever throw anything no we take pictures you. yeah you take pictures you fucks and i do have an entire catalog of photos <laughs> posing next to jason sleeping and i always wake up fucking binky with his camera in his hand trying to fucking take pics on the slide or some shit or you planking on the couch behind me or there's always the uh thumbs up or 
Just some stupid shit. Resting cocks on your lips. Ah, dicks. Fucking asshole. That's never happened yet. No. It, it never will, jackasses. I don't know. You sleep pretty deep. Yeah, but we're not drunk frat white boys. Well, you're I, not. I'm not. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we should start a fraternity. Oh, that would be nice. Make it like old school. That'd be awesome. Oh, the hazing, the ha- the hazing would just be great. Well, I'd haze the shit out of you until you lost 136 pounds. Well, that was motivation. Yeah, see that, or I dropped dead from the exercise. One of the two is gonna happen. So things that motivate Jason: partying, yeah, vagina, yeah, the ability to eat more food, <laughs> yeah, and more vagina. Yeah, yeah, it usually works out. Life expectancy has and, n- and, and, no part and titties. in it. And titties. Titties too. I mean, I I, I kind of group that and vagina together. That's true, but yeah, the female counterpart. Yeah, let's just not leave out titties. I'm just saying. Oh no, but living longer is a great motivation. I mean, because then there's more partying, there's more food, and there's more titties. And Seriously, vagina. like if you just said, okay, five days a week, like Monday through Friday, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna you know watch what I eat, exercise. I, I do watch what I eat. I watch it go into my face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but you know what I mean You just kind of like Okay I'm gonna eat monitor healthier, What I mean Yeah monitor, just, You yeah, know yeah. And then exercise a little bit Like maybe like Even 30 minutes on treadmill Whatever You know five days a week On the weekend Do whatever the hell you want Right I guarantee you'd probably lose Like 50, 60 pounds Just on that Because right now You live every day Like the weekend <laughs> Seriously Like this guy Like I walked in the house today With a uh, Pizza Hut Box Meal The one for 20 bucks and, uh, yeah, not not just a pizza, but the box, the one that comes with two the, pizzas, the two pizzas, the wings, the breadsticks, and he walked in with some Denny's for breakfast from this morning, and uh, from, uh, oh, there's a thing of uh, the cinnamon sticks on top of that too. And the thing is, I'm not gonna eat any of that shit. Like it, it was shared between two people yesterday, but yesterday, well, who's gonna be shared by today? You uh, dude, and you, you. You know the Cambodian's gonna eat that shit, man. Yeah, he might come out of the room and eat that, but maybe a slice. The rest, I'm pretty sure, is going to be devoured by you, <sighs> along right, with man. 12 to 14 beers. We don't even have 12 to 14 beers in the house. Well, there's at least 12. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's not so but, yeah, I mean, I, I like I, I could see you just destroying all of that. <laughs> no. I'm actually really full. I didn't, like, like, breakfast this morning, like, I only ate, like, half of the omelet. But I did have like three smaller cups of uh, apple juice, and uh, that was about it. Like, apple I, juice? I, what the hell are you six? I love apple juice. Fuck you, sir. But like, you couldn't just be an adult and say I like a coffee or uh, water or even orange juice. Orange juice is a more adult beverage than apple juice. I I had water. Seriously, no one above grade school age drinks apple juice. Uh, I do. I love apple juice. It's way better. Do you, they bring you a sippy cup too? Uh, no, 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 but they do put in a straw. Like, I don't need a straw. Cause I'm the a twisty kind? <laughs> the bendy straw. <laughs> okay. What color? Love the bendy straw. Uh, green. They like every other color, sir. Jesus Come on. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, What's it, wrong with apple juice? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying, like, every time we go out to a restaurant, like, most people would say, oh, water or soda or whatever, you know, just coffee. This guy, it's always like, Apple juice or some other kind of exotic weird juice that normal people don't drink, or like I get, I get hot my, chocolate. I or like hot chocolate. I mean, there's nothing wrong with hot chocolate, but I'm just saying, like at a restaurant, I I don't know. You're a grown ass man. I don't drink coffee unless it's like foo foo coffee made by hot chicks at the spot down the street from the uh, death row. I don't know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pink house is nice, dude. The, and the chick who runs it, she's only like 20. Wait, the pink house? Well, it's it's actually called uh, Pink Panthers, but I just call it the pink house, you know, because it's, it's pink shit. It's a pink house, pink The building. pink house, I'm thinking that's a name for a porn or something. That's where they film the porn. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Is it in Chatsworth? Is that uh, nice? Probably. <laughs> but no, no, like she's uh, she's pretty hot. And like it's weird because I drive by and I look for her car because I, I know which one it is. It's the only, I, I just know her car. And. I see all these other cars or the girls who work there, and I'm just like, mm, meh. I just keep going. 
But I was the other guard. Then I'll, I'll turn in. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? We had a little small conversation. And uh, it's kind of like on the same edge of like bottoms up where they wear, they're scantily clad. And uh, yeah, she's banging. So. See, that does nothing for me. Sex and food don't mix. I don't, I don't like that. That's not my thing. No, like, no whipped cream on the titties for you? I don't need that. I mean, you don't need it, but. I'm, I'm, if I, if I feel like food, I feel like food. If I feel like. Any, like sex and stuff like that I feel like sex but There's no need to like Be with your girl And like pull a strip of bacon Like off her stomach Or nothing like that No God yeah. damn you're fat <laughs> I've never said I've done it Alright Whipped cream on titties Yes but no I've never brought bacon into Yeah the but the fact room. that <laughs> It's an active thought In your mind <laughs> He's like man If I can just keep a microwave And a griddle Next to the bed <laughs> Throw some hot bacon On her stomach <laughs> She's saying Ow ow He's just deal with it bitch <laughs> Shut up and take it. You know you like it. Yeah, give me that bacon. God damn! Like, I mean, I'm not gonna even make- your sexual <laughs> fantasies are fat. <laughs> you can't even fantasize skinny, can't you? <laughs> Jesus. No, I can be skinny, dude. Like, oh, I'll show you pictures from like when I was small, like from high school, when I actually had like an Audi. <laughs> yeah, my my belly button has been <laughs> swallowed whole by my stomach. You had an Audi at one time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause now you looks like you have the Grand Canyon on your stomach. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like I'm a, pretty sure that like the crater that killed the dinosaurs. I, I'm six in my gut. three, going about mm, two thirty five. I'm pretty sure I can high dive into your belly button <laughs> and land comfortably with room to swim a lap. <laughs> you probably that was an Audi. Yeah, yeah. At one point, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I used to have one of those, but like, yeah, I used to own a neck at one point. Now I'm just head and shoulders. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you want to see Jason's Audi that's now in any, you can go to uh, epic6p.com. Check out the video, Enter the Ancient Master. He's shirtless, and he does jumping jacks, and we actually got to do push-ups in there. And it was strictly for the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no other point for that other than. I don't know. I've been, uh, I've been told that it might possibly, this whole thing that we're doing, might possibly be just your guys' way of getting me to work out. Because uh, there's jumping jacks, there's running. Uh, oh, also the uh, teaser for Raw Steel. There's me running. There's multiple. Well, running. it's not getting you to work out. It's just funny for us to watch. <laughs> <You fucker. laughs> well, seriously, what's funnier than a fat guy trying to work out or run? I can't think of many things. Yeah, I'm lost. You're right. It yeah, it's pretty, pretty funny. Yeah, it is pretty funny. Yeah. I think you even chuckle watching you do jumping jacks. Yeah, it's. Kind of damn hilarious, and Juan's just letting me go. He's just like, eh, eh, eh. he's just filming. I'm like, dude, I'm about to die. Like, <laughs> help. And I told you, if you if you fall, I'm not doing mouth to mouth. Yeah, we had this discussion. I'll punch time. you three times in the chest. That's it. <laughs> Solid jabs doesn't work. Then it was your time. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just think about it, man. Like, we should. We should get on a regimen. The whole crew get on a regimen where it's like, okay, well, let's let's try it, it, power numbers. Right. You know, we'd say, okay, Monday through Friday, we're gonna we're gonna work out. Let's say an hour to forty five minutes a day. Okay. You know, something simple. It all doesn't right. have to be anything crazy. It can be basic shit like whatever, push ups, sit ups. Just we all, you know, Doing jog- the, uh, jogging, walking, even walking, yeah. whatever. We got then, like power walking. We can yeah. just be like. Walking. And then we say, okay, we're gonna eat healthy these days. All right. The weekend. We can just go all out. We can do whatever we want. We can hit a buffet. I don't give a shit. Like, whatever. Drink like you normally drink. Do right. anything you want. But Monday through Friday. Right. And I'm pretty sure you'll drop a significant amount of weight. I'm I'm pretty sure I would. Now, the thing is getting the crew to do it. But you have to be the crew. It could be me and you. Because you know I'm, I'll do it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm very regimented in my lifestyle. Like, I I get addicted to, like, you know, if I start, like, working out, I'll I'll be hooked on that. But same thing. If I'm lazy as shit, I get hooked on that too. So Yeah. yeah. I did buy a uh, Magic Bullet blender, and I, I do have some protein stuff in the house. I've probably made one or two shakes. But I could see with like, that blender, I could see you like doing some crazy shit. Like, man, if I throw some mashed potatoes in there, throw some bacon, <laughs> some sour cream, <laughs> some butter, I could make like a, 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 a liquid, liquid dinner. It'd be awesome. Just to see what it tastes like. Nah, that sounds horrible, sir. That sounds horrible. But I could see you trying that more than making smoothies. <sighs> no, no. I, I, I don't know. I just hate shopping. Like that's the other thing. Like if I had somebody to shop for me and bring me like the healthy shit, I'd be down. I'd eat it. So well, basically, in order to be healthy, you need to get famous. Because really, if you think about it, you need you need, you need women, yeah. you need personal trainers, 
you need people to buy you your supplies and cook for you. Right. And yeah, you need someone around you at all times that can drive, you know, just motivate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to like hire Billy Blinks and a bevy of uh, nutritionists and uh, trainers. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, so that's the only way we can really get you healthy is to get you famous. <laughs> Let's do it. You can be like Seth Rogen or Jonah Hill. But yeah, the thing is, those guys are dropping weight like crazy. And but the thing is, you know, as soon as you get skinny, you're not as funny anymore. I'm still funny. Name one. One guy who was as fat and went skinny and it's still funny. Who was as funny as they were? My point exactly. Asshole. All right. I mean, I'm sure you can be. I mean, I, I, I don't see you changing much. But I mean, you being healthy is probably more important than yeah. You being able to go up there and tell a couple one-liners. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. So uh, we're gonna work on this uh, health kick shit then. We should try. I, I let's give it a valiant effort. Valiant effort. All I right. mean, I'm sure you're gonna say I start tomorrow because I want to finish this pizza and this stuff. <laughs> I at least want to finish my omelet for this morning. Well, I mean, it's also a recession we're in, so there's no need to waste food. That's true. I mean, we can find some hungry Africans. What you? You? <laughs> you're, you you're, you're, you're always hungry. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm the only black guy, so all right, that works out. Good. We found a hungry African. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it in front of my face. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I'm I'm down to try it. If you're down to try it, I'm down to try it. Like we can go work out. You know, a couple of days a week, we can work out here. Whatever we're doing. Yeah, we've said this before, and we just never did it. Like, remember we were talking about, like, running the stairs at JC, but I, I know you got the knees of an 80-year-old, so. Yeah, I'm good. I'm 32 years old, and how the hell did I got arthritis in my knees? This is horrible. Sports? It's what, I don't know. I just think I got bad genetics. No, no. Sports. sports I mean, not bad genetics. I mean, I have an amazing face. Like, I have a beautiful face. Like <laughs> Yeah, but you got shitty knees. <laughs> yeah, but I have, like, yeah. You're gorgeous. I am face. gorgeous. I am a beautiful man. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're a handsome I, devil. Yeah. I, I acknowledge yeah. this. Yeah, you just can't fucking run a jump anymore. <laughs> this is true. So you, uh, something goes down, you'll just have to man the gun because running, you have to drive or man the gun. Something goes down, you know. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd feel comfortable with that, though, because you, you'd still look good while doing it. All right. So you know, I can see the camera panning across your face <laughs> and it's like, no. <laughs> and the ladies are like, wow, that guy sure is handsome. Look at the look at the sweat beating off his forehead. I mean, he's just mowing down those bad guys. I mean, they do yeah. that anyway. So the fact that I was being a badass, they would. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Just saying, I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah, 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 that's true. But you know, I think for this week, that just make the goal to, you know, try to watch the food and take a little more. All right. Hey, if anybody. Uh Sees me at a death row and they see me with like a donut or some crap in my hand. Which feel you free, will. Feel free to give me crap about it or uh, feel free to slap it out of my hand. Uh, only in a way in where in which it wouldn't be classified as a uh, violence in the workplace um, type of thing because we wouldn't want everybody to get in trouble. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You see me, you know, and which is awesome because if anybody sees me with stuff and they slap it out of my hand, we'll know who listened to the show. That's true. This is awesome. That's, and, and so if everyone that if everyone starts slapping th- things out of your hand, we'll know that we have people listening. That's awesome. And who walks, and who care about my my health? That's true. I, I don't care about that. I care about people listening. So <laughs> that is true. We, well, we need more listeners. I think for <laughs> this week, I think that about does it. All right, sounds uh, sounds good to me, sir. I think we did a pretty damn good job here. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I hate myself a little less today, so that's pretty awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, uh, people, wash your hands and no talking at the stalls. Anything you want to plug before we go? Um, just us as a uh, as our unit, our group yeah. there. Once again, uh, www.epic6p.com. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening. And yeah, you can find us on uh, Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Instagram. Um, where yeah. else are we? Is that pretty much about it? I guess. Just Google Epic 6P and you'll find us. Yeah. Yeah. Look for the group of handsome guys. Especially this one. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. So, go ahead and find the tallest building you can find and jump onto the sharpest object you can. 